In this module, we will be talking about the WIDA key language uses. On page 10, which is an excellent page to tab in your WIDA book or to refer to on the PDF on the slide, is the WIDA ELD standards framework. Section one was the big ideas. Section two is understanding the WIDA ELD standards framework. Within section two are the standards themselves and the key language uses. And th this is what we're gonna focus on in this module. Another way of looking at it and another excellent page to bookmark or to refer to in the PDF is page 246. The standards framework can be looked at as a funnel that narrows down as the language gets more specific. We can start at the top with the ELD standard, for example, language for science, move into the key language use for this content area, which is explain, language expectations, the language function, which is what language you're going to use, and the language features, which are different ways that language can be used. And it is a way to determine what students need to work on to understand and make sense of uh, their text. So now you are going to pause the video briefly and then do an activity. You will need a paper and pencil to do this. Imagine you are visiting the Grand Canyon. You're going to write down what language you would use to complete each task below. You do not have to write the complete activity, but just think about the different ways you would use language for each example. One is writing a postcard to a friend. The second one is writing a travel brochure. The third one is a sign about how canyons are formed. And the fourth is a letter to the governor of Arizona advocating for or against installing a cable car system in the Grand Canyon. Please pause the video now. Now that you've completed this activity, we are going to talk more about the four key language uses. They are narrate, inform, explain, and argue. So an example would be tell a story about a time you visited a lake or river. Name the stages of the water cycle to inform. Explain how water goes through the water cycle or argue against water pollution with evidence. These are really uh, good ways to think about how we use language in different ways. And as you can see from the activity that you completed, there were four different ways that you would use language in order to talk about the Grand Canyon. So key language uses, how did WIDA come up with argue, narrate, inform, and explain? Well, they are the high leverage practices that students use in K-12. That means that they were seen most often in different content areas, in different genre families um, across academic content standards. Genres are multimodal types of text, they can be oral, written, or visual, that happen frequently for specific purpose with specific discourse organization and language features. So this was how these four key language uses were determined. Page 217 through 219 has a deeper explanation of this. All the key language uses are present across all grade levels from kindergarten up to grade 12. They are also present in all disciplines. They are sometimes more prominent depending on the discipline they're in. Um, so for example, if you look at narrate, it is most often seen in language for language arts and in social studies, but it, also, it is also present in science and math and social studies. Explain is most often seen in science, but it can also be present in the language of language arts. 
the way that the page 288 to 290 are coded, if a circle is completely dark, it is a prominent feature. If a circle is half shaded, it is featured and, and there frequently. And if it is an open circle, then it is there, but it is not as prominent. So there are some unique linguistic and organiza organizational features of key language uses. Um, on pages 222 through 233 in the book and on the PDFs, there are examples of genres, purpose, and applications in the classroom. It also goes through on these pages how these different key language uses are used in each grade level. So there will be examples for narrate, inform, explain, and argue. So after this video, you are going to review pages 217 to 219, 222 to 223, and 288 to 290, either in your WIDA book or on the PDF. After you're done reading and marking your text, you are going to respond to the questions below. What are one or two important ideas that are sticking with you about key language uses? Connections. Where do you see this in your work with students? Where have you seen it in your work with students? Um, where have you seen key language uses as you have uh, been with your students? And questions. What are you still wondering about right now? Remember, this is still an introduction to the standards and you should have lots of questions. <laughs>